Middle East ride-hailing app Kareem is planning to spend up to 150 million U.S. dollars to launch its food delivery business as early as September, according to two sources with direct knowledge of this matter. I'm Shashir Shinwas, and this is Raj Simon Ritchie, and you're watching What's Trending on Hotelia Middle East. So Kareem has been trialing food delivery services after announcing in February that it had acquired regional online restaurant listing platform Round Menu. So Simon, let's talk a little more about this deal. What do we know? Well, as you said, uh, Kareem first started trialing this in February when they took over Round Menu. But this is the first step to serious investment to making it a permanent, um, permanent business for Kareem. Mm -hmm. Reuters, with two, uh, quoting two direct sources on the matter, said it could happen as early as September. Um, the company is currently in talks with investors to raise up to 150 million US dollars, as you said, to finance the launch of Kareem Food. Reports also suggest that Kareem Food will be launching in Pakistan as soon as September, then the UAE, other Gulf countries, and also in Egypt. Yes, and it will compete against existing food delivery businesses such as Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Zomato, and Talabat, which already operate in the region. So, Simon, how will this play out for the food delivery business we already have here in the Middle East? Yeah, well, as you say, it is quite a crowded marketplace. Uh, Kareem are far from the only company involved in this. We've recently had Marks & Spencer, the British supermarket chain, launch a delivery service in the UAE, right. which includes its standalone food store in Marina Walk. Um, Deliveroo, one of the big boys in the industry, is expanding its Deliveroo Edition service. Where an, that's where a number of concepts share uh, kitchens on the same site. Uh, they have a second larger venue in Business Bay, and this was just opened in the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. well, this platform allows restaurants to expand into new areas of Dubai without the need to purchase any physical space, with Deliveroo covering the cost of the kitchen in exchange for a higher, per, um, higher percentage of the commission. That's right. Um, and analysts uh, from the professional services firm KPMG have said that in their recent study, in this region, 60% of smartphone users have a food-related app on their phone. And 50% of this use is used to order food online. So what do we know about how f and um, the f and industry has been doing so far here in 2018? Yeah, well, there's been some very good news, very positive news from Dubai in the first six months of the year. Right. Um, 473 new food outlets have opened between January and just up, up to now in July, according to the Dubai Municipality's Food um, food Safety Department. That means on average, every day, uh, 2.5 F&B food locations are opening up. That's impressive. And so that's all we have for this week. I'm Shashir Srinivas and this is Simon Ritchie. And thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to hit subscribe on our YouTube channel.